Hey there, it's Jason Stahl with another episode of Body Shop Business, the podcast. And today I have a very special guest from iCar, Ariana Sherlock, who is the Senior Director of Marketing for iCar. Welcome, Ariana. Thank you, Jason. I'm happy to be here. You're welcome. We're happy to have you. And my first question is, What's new with iCar? I know there's a lot of new developments. What is what is new? There are a lot of new developments, but I think probably the development we are most excited about is our Collision Careers platform. So we've had a chance to talk a little bit about this, but I'm really, really excited to be here and, and share it with a broader audience. Uh, Collision Careers is our new uh, talent platform. It's designed to help recruit um, talent into the collision industry, especially, you know, we know within the industry, what an amazing career you can have here, you know, and we, we can put a lot of talents to use, but we have a little bit of an awareness problem when it comes to sort of, you know, the broader um, universe out there. America generally is not really aware of what our industry does. Um, and they're certainly not aware of how amazing of a career that you can have and how, you know, profitable it can be for an individual. That's awesome. And you mentioned young technicians, getting technicians in the, in the industry. I understand, too, that you have some new training that is geared to entry-level technicians. Well, we do. So part of our overall talent initiative um, that we started um, about a year or two ago here at ICAR, and we're starting to roll out now, is um, new entry-level training. So the curriculum right now is in pilot um, at a number of schools, and it'll be broadly available in 2024. So it'll actually replace the curriculum that today um, is available in many you know, career and technical education schools. And then we're also going to be making it available to uh, collision repair facilities, along with some additional types of um, coursework that will help the shop to recruit and retain talent. So if you really think about iCar's overall talent initiative. It's two parts, helping to attract talent to the industry with the Collision Careers platform, and then helping to you know, ensure that once they've um, made the decision to enter the industry, that they're being really, really well trained, and most importantly, retained. Because it doesn't matter if we attract them to the industry, if they don't stay. And, and that's, that's really to teach them those hands-on skills that would allow them to be day one ready and productive, right? It, it is. You know, we've all heard the stories about the, you know, the, the young technician, you know, whether they're coming out of a school or they're coming, you know, directly into the shop. We, you know, we hear about them kind of being underutilized or underengaged because they're not able to go to work and be productive right away. So this is really, really aimed at making sure that that technician is able to have a really, really positive experience in our industry from day one. And, you know, it's also thinking about some of the things that are important now to um, a, a new recruit, right? Culture, um, whether they're, you know, they're feeling engaged and fulfilled by their work. We know that, you know, what matters to a technician today might be a little bit different than what mattered to a technician a generation ago. That's great, you know, because we hear constantly that the technician shortage is the strongest headwind facing the collision industry. And it sounds like ICAR is firing on all cylinders as far as addressing that shortage and trying to help. We are, you know, and, and you know, you go back to trying to raise awareness about this industry. You know, we're really, really trying to do this in a way that I think um, is different than we've tried to do it in the past. So there's a number of great initiatives out there as an industry. We felt like, ICAR felt like we were in a very unique position um, you know, we are we are a neutral industry body. We serve many different segments um, within the industry through our work. We felt like we were in a really, really great position to help unify um, some of these other efforts, foster collaboration between ourselves. So no one's in competition. We're in collaboration and in support of one another. And um, I think, you know, we are really trying to get out there and reach the kind of the consumer, a real kind of direct to consumer effort, you know, because what we really need to do is make, um, you know, students who are as young as elementary and middle school and starting to think about where they're going to high school aware. We need their parents and their teachers bought in. You know, we need school counselors recommending technical education as, as a path um, for these students, you know, and we need to make sure that, you know, Later career folks, maybe coming out of the military or 
people who went to a four-year university and are looking for something a little bit different now that they've gotten out in the workforce have access to resources to, you know, to learn about the industry and learn how to get started. So that's really what the Collision Careers platform is trying to do. You know, we have social media channels and a website and we're out there with with advertising and, you know, efforts that really will help reach those audiences and make them aware of the resources, the different resources that exist in the industry. That's great. And obviously, ICAR is synonymous with training. It's what you guys do. So sure. I, I also understand there's there's some new training courses you're offering out there. Tell me about those. Sure. We are, one of our newest courses is our measuring, anchoring, and pulling course. There is both a unibody and full frame version of that course. And what's really, really unique about it is that it's um, our first interactive video course. So um, we are, you know, of course, looking at rolling out training in new and different ways. You know, the world's very different. And we're looking at how we train. Um, we're trying to get more technicians than ever trained and help fill, you know, this this technician gap that we have in the industry. So we're looking at different ways to do that. And this interactive video course format, we think is one of those ways. So we're offering the measuring, anchoring, pulling course in that format. Uh, you might, you know, you know, Jeff um, Poole and Scott Caboose. Um, so they, they um, teach that course. And they did it. Um, they developed it in our Chicago Technical Center, which uh, you had the opportunity to come visit. Yes, thanks not for inviting me. Not too long ago. Yep. Um, yes, and thank you for returning the favor and, and having me here. And um, so, our, it, you know, our Chicago Technical um, Center, as you got to see, is just outside of the city. Um, it's in Vernon Hills, Illinois. It's a, it's a great, convenient location. The facility is incredible. Our team, you know, our technical team, who is you know second to none, did a wonderful job developing that facility. And you know, just making it something available to to the industry for their you know for their training and for their use. I mean, it's got to be a job for ICAR to stay nimble and on top of what's going on in the industry. There's so many changes going on. You just mentioned the new uh, measuring course you have, but there's got to be. I know you have some training courses on EVs and ADOS as well. And again, things are changing and developing so quickly. You guys have got to be nimble and on your game to to uh, to pivot with your with the training you're offering but tell me a little bit more about the other training courses that you have that reflect these these trends sure I you know our, you mentioned our, our EV and ADOS courses um, so we have a, we have a number of great offerings um, for both EV and ADOS um, some of which are virtual um, some of which are taught in person also you know in the Chicago Technical Center so we've seen you know, groups come through and, you know, really see the benefit of that training. Um, we also, I don't know if you're familiar with our training alliance, which um, our training alliance is a program that allows us to offer ICAR credit for approved courses that are taught by OEMs, suppliers, and, you know, others in the industry who provide their own training. And the goal of that, of the training alliance for ICAR is to reduce, you know, the redundant training for that shops and their technicians have to take. So it's more cost effective, it's more efficient for the on, you know, with they're more able to be more efficient with their time. And, you know, because for us it's, you know, we're we are driven by, you know, our our we are mission driven, right? So we are we want uh, the industry trained. We, you know, if if you if you take training from a, a supplier or an OEM, we think that's great, and we, as long as that course has been, you know, reviewed and approved, we'll give you that ICAR credit towards your, you know, individual and your gold class recognition. Wow, that's awesome. And it sounds like no matter what flavor you want your training in, whether it's virtual, uh, in person, in shop, uh, you've you've got it. We we do, you know, and again, uh, you know, our our goal, uh, you know, ICAR wants to ensure that the entire industry is working towards safe, complete, quality repairs. So everything we do is done with that in mind. Right, and and it's, it's, it's interesting. I think we are, I've heard it termed, uh, we have to be a training culture now. We have to be um, big in the training now. Uh, you know, a, a technician with 20 years of experience, all of a sudden that experience may not amount to much because the cars have changed so much. So as my understanding is, it's just, we've, we've got to get back to uh, a training mindset where we don't know what we don't know and we need to know more. Yeah, look, I think it's, um, you know, I ICAR has been been talking for a very, very long time about, you know, the technical tsunami, you know, coming. It's here, right? It's been here for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you talk about a, a training culture. Um, 
that's imperative, right? So it's not you achieve your training, it's one and done. It's, you know, that we are being faced with so many developments so quickly that it's really, really important that as an industry, you know, we believe that it's really important as an industry that you're constantly keeping up with with that training and that you really are, the shops are fostering a culture of learning. And, you know, because if, if you don't, you'll quickly get, you know, you'll quickly get left behind. So Ariana, tell me what other ways technicians can access training. Sure. Uh, one of the things that we are talking a lot about at ICAR right now is our tech direct uh, training. We, it's, which is, you know, it's the, it's the information and the tools that we provide, the technical information that we provide outside of formal training, actually. So, um, you know, if you're familiar with our Repairs Realm episodes or, you know, our RTS platform, and, you know, we have Ask ICAR, we even have um, just-in-time videos. So these are all different, they're different lengths, they're different forms that, you know, you can access training um, or information that would be helpful to you during the course of, of a job or, you know, the course of your workday. But you can do it right on your phone, right? We know that, you know, training doesn't have to be done at that shop computer sitting behind a desk. You know, a technician can be on, on their lunch break, um, and you know, watch a five-minute video about you know a topic that interests him or her, or about something they're struggling with. Wow, it sounds like ICAR has it surrounded. We'd like to think so. We have an incredible team. You know, our our, our technical team um, is world class. They're you know a really really smart group that is working really really hard to um, deliver you know training that is not only cutting edge. Um, but is also being delivered in a variety of lengths and formats, you know, in lengths, formats, languages um, to appeal to, you know, our growing industry. So, Ariana, tell me what it means to be ICAR Gold and ICAR Platinum and how that ties into this whole training culture. Sure. Jason. Well, so, you know, to be, you know, ICAR, to be a gold class recognized shop, to be recognized as a gold class shop or be recognized as a platinum technician, means that you're the best in the industry, right? I think, you know, that is something that our shops and our technicians in the industry should have a tremendous amount of pride against it in, you know? It means that they have put in the work, um, you know, they've invested in the training to ensure, you know, that their shop can perform, you know, the safe, complete, and quality repairs that we are, you know, aligned around and believe in providing, you know, to, to our drivers. And, you know, it's something that they, like I said, should really feel a tremendous amount of pride in. And, you know, it all, it goes back to that culture, that culture of learning and that culture of training and just, you know, wanting to whether, again, whether it's with a formal, you know, pro-level training pass um, or it's, you know, using, you know, ICAR's Tech Direct tools to just consume those bite-sized pieces of information that, you know, keep you sharp and, and keep you at the top of your game. It all just goes towards creating that culture of, of learning in your shop so that you, you know, have that, you have that, you have that pride um, in, in your work and in your end, you know, your end result to your consumers. Right. It, it, I mean, it sounds like ICAR has this training thing totally surrounded. And you guys are doing um, a lot of work at addressing the number one problem in the industry, which is the tech shortage and other problems that we have, which are many right now. But um, thank you so much for being a guest today at Babcock's World Headquarters. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you so much, Jason, for having me. You know, ICAR feels really strongly about being a collaborative, you know, neutral a supporter of this industry. And, and we, you know, we approach every day with that mission in mind. Thanks again. Thank you. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Body Shop Business, the podcast. Check out BodyShopBusiness.com for more podcasts.